This nostalgia is... Uncle Jack and Aunt Ray's Christmas, Christmas lights. Um, again, not relatives, but family friends who've been mentioned in previous nostalgias. <laughs> Don't even talk over my fart. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, but I failed. Um, and again, even though they weren't relatives, it was always a, a lot of fun and a big event to see them. And so there would be two or three visits both ways mm-hmm. um, between uh, sometime the week of Christmas, between that full week extending into New Year's Eve, which was all, always celebrated at either our house or their house, alternating years. It was years. very religiously alternated. Mm-hmm. And there was a time where they doubled up and I, they, they told a story every year. <laughs> like some kind of extenuated <laughs> experience or like... Uh oh. Why are you filming me while you're talking? I don't know. But what I think is interesting um, is how they made <laughs> fun of their. You're doing exactly the thing you told me not to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's comedy. I think that what um, just what stood out about their Christmas lights is how our parents always sort of set um, in our minds that it, that it was tacky. Or because they used larger lights one year, or ornaments, um, larger ornaments, and I guess my parents thought there was some so- sort of authority on Christmas decorations. And it's just like the fact that people even do that is a nice celebratory thing, and it's the first time uh, we ever saw a train set, which was to be replicated many, many, many years later by um, Robert Clemente, our dad. And not only that, but they also talked a lot about how Jack was actually very enthusiastic about his under the tree train um, and would always add buildings and pieces to it and was very excited once it, he got a moving set and that's just genuine enthusiasm and I have no hate for that and it was always it seemed so forced and so like meticulously like fraught over with our with our dad like it was such an exasperation I think why it sticks out to me is because every year, I don't know what started this, outside, and and the sad thing is that they had us brainwashed that outside, all white Christmas lights every year. Anything with color was tacky to them, and they would go way out of their way to point that out, that whatever, colored lights outside were tacky, whatever. So we go um, every Christmas, because our family didn't get along. Um, we would have to do, like, one big Christmas and then, like, four mini auxiliary Christmases <laughs> afterwards. Right. And so we'd visit Uncle Jack and Aunt Ray. And it was fun because they had someone kind of our age, Ben, which, in previous nostalgias, <laughs> we enjoyed him in a different way than what normal kid. That sounds really... <laughs> that sounds <laughs> I think this is now, like, time for a different nostalgia. <laughs> this is... 